Morning guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. What I'm going to do today is fire the forge back up and I'm going to make a full-on base camp cook set. A set of fire irons, if you will. We've got a self-reliance blacksmithing class coming up this weekend. I've got a professional blacksmith, Atlee Miller, from the Amish community coming out here to teach forge welding. We're going to be making some self-reliance homestead type tools. We're going to make a fro, a draw knife, a chisel, and an auger bit so that you can do woodworking projects and make your own tools to do that. We're going to cook a quarter of a deer up out here on a cook set. We're going to make some pulled deer sandwiches, things like that. So I'm going to set up a cook set for that so Jamie Burley, one of my instructors, can do some cooking. And I want to show you how I'm going to make that cook set because it's not a complicated process, but it makes a very complicated piece of cookware when you're done that's very adaptable and you can manipulate it to do lots of different things. I got this idea off the internet from a picture that I saw. I thought it was really cool. I wanted to make one. It looked like a simple project. It's only going to take rebar and some chain to make this project. I got everything from the scrapyard for less than 25 bucks. Stay with me guys and we'll get started. Now we want to make another one just like that one. Okay, so the third piece that we need to make for this, we want it to be the same length as our two that we just made with the hook on them, except we want an eye on one end of this and then a point on the other. Reason for that is, if we put that eye on there, we can use that number one across the two uprights, or we can put the three together to form a tripod. So we've got a multifunctional piece of gear right there. Then we're going to make the great portion of it next that we can make adjustable so that we can cook with pots and pans, as well as being able to hang things over the fire. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. drawing this out just a little bit not because I'm trying to make this thing fancy because I'm not at all trying to make it fancy but because I need to save a little length I will tell you folks this is a uh, bit of a perishable skill beyond a shadow of a doubt um, I haven't swung a hammer and put it to metal since the gathering in June here we are in October on well late September Definitely a perishable skill. The muscles get tired faster. The hand-eye coordination is not what it was. Everything takes practice and continued practice to own the skills. You can't just blacksmith for a few months and think you got it licked because I'm finding out right now I ain't got it licked. So I got a piece of metal that's a little bit short here. And I need it to be about as long as the other two to form that tripod. I've got just the right amount of everything I want. So I'm going to try to pull this thing out a little bit and extend it by drawing it out where I'm going to make my eye.
Okay, now that we have our three uprights done and they're cool enough, remember that we have two that have hooks and one that has an eye. Now we need to make four stakes for the ground, basically that have those same type hooks in them, except we're going to make them out of a piece of 18-inch rebar, the kind you buy at any Home Depot or Menards by the bundle. And you can buy a bundle of 50 18-inch pieces of rebar for about 50 bucks, about 99 cents a piece, and you can make a whole lot of stuff out of that rebar. I love that stuff and I pick rebar up every chance I get in scrap yards because rebar is just such a great resource for making stuff. We're making this entire set pretty much out of rebar. Okay, so now that we got our four stakes done with the hooks in them, we're going to need two straight bars as long as we want our grill to be. And I'm going to decide on that here in a little bit. I've got some bars over here. I'll probably just cut them off with a hacksaw. And then I'm going to need cross pieces for my grill top. And all we're going to do is take that same 18 inch rebar and turn a hook in the end of it so that we slide it down the rod. I know that sounds a little confusing right now, but when we get it all set up here in a few minutes, you understand what I'm talking about. It's not a setup you're going to take with you in your backpack, but for a base camp scenario or long term, very, very nice. Hang tight. Okay, now these are going to be real, real simple. All we're going to do is heat up about six inches, maybe even less than that, of this rebar, the end of this piece of 18 inch rebar. And we're just going to put the end of it here and turn it around just like this until we get it closed pretty much. Just like that. That's all we really need. It just needs to be big enough around in the eye so that we can fit it to fit it over the piece of rebar that we want to use. So if we're worried about it being just a little bit too much closed, we can just open it up a little bit. Now we need to make as many of these as we want our grill spacing to be. So I'm just going to make, I don't know, 10 or 12 of these and then we're going to set this thing up. Okay guys, so here it is set up. It's really, really, really simple. All we did was put our four stakes in, in the ground and put a long piece of rebar on those. We took these pieces that we put the eyes in and just ran them on one piece of rebar. That allows us to adjust the stove grating anywhere we need it. In case we wanted to move our pots around on the fire or what have you, we can adjust our grating anywhere we need it, just like that. We've got the over top here where we can hang utensils and things like that, hang extra pots and pans, hang a trammel, hang a dipper, hang a bucket, whatever the case may be. And then we can move things off and on. If we make more of these, then we've got areas out here we can use for cooling down things. Works out really, really good, in my opinion. Okay, guys, well, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Appreciate you joining me out here for this quick project today on making a base camp cooked style set out of rebar. I appreciate your views, appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for all my instructors, supporters, sponsors, and friends. And I'll be back with a new video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.